Yeah! Oh, what up, y'all? Welcome back to another one. I never start the videos out in the, off in the house. Here we are, we're in the house. Got something to show y'all before we get crackalacking today. Hi, bub. Hi. You say hi to everybody? That is a little man straight out of bed, looking like a little man, right? That's my little man. Bubba, he just got a treat for eating all of his breakfast, two Starburst. But today, like I said, before we get going into today's video, check this out. Y'all know that I have a P.O. box and uh, you guys send so many amazing things over the past two years with me having the P.O. box. Mind you, uh, the P.O. box address is always, every single video, it's linked down in the description below. Check this out. This here comes all the way from my buddy up in Canada, Jeremy Zettler. He's a tattoo artist and he does these and he sells them on Instagram. His Instagram handle is actually Jeremy Zettler Tattooer on Instagram. And let me tell you, he did awesome on this spec. Two specs flying a spec here. Got a school down here. Extra cool piece of wood that's all burned in. Hand drawn, so cool. I absolutely love getting gifts like this for the lodge that'll go on the wall. Uh, that right there is a piece of art. I love it. Uh, the packing, Jeremy, sorry brother, could have been a little better. The edges of the log got knocked off, but, but I'm gonna go get uh, some glue here at Home Depot. So we can fix it up. We got to go to Home Depot and actually get a lot of uh, a lot of stuff. We're building a fence, a nice sturdy fence, so my ducks don't get killed anymore. It's been bad, been bad. I think we had you know the one coyote incident uh, months and months and months back, probably six or seven months ago. And this, I got the story for y'all. I'll tell y'all here in a minute. Y'all have been wanting to see the pigeons. This is another reason why we're building the fence. Uh-huh, look. They're just out here. These are the only two ducks and chickens. Sorry, three ducks and chickens that we have. I only have one duck, one mallard, and two chickens. The rest, they gone. They gone. First, uh, actually the second reason why we're doing this today is because this has become the ducks and chickens home. They love to roost right here and poop and pee all over my entry, <laughs> my door entry, my front porch, literally all over it. That's number one. Number two, I don't want them dead anymore. And this right here, this right here. I can't even leave a garage door open anymore for Frederick to go in and out, to go pee and to go eat when he wants to because these three are here all the time and it's only three of them now. It used to be like 10. So they'd be coming in and out, check it out. They come in and out of the garage and they poop all in my garage. Hi, Soph. So it's time to make some changes, not only for my sanity, but for the ducks and the chicken safety. We love having our ducks and chickens. We eat the eggs all the time, uh, make for an awesome breakfast, and we love having them around us pets. It's awesome having them roaming around. It's really cute. Uh, a lot of the clients love it. Uh, when they when they see the ducks walking around, they're like, wait, at Bobby Guy's house? That's ironic. It's fun. It's a lot of fun. But we had an incident. And uh, it's not the client's fault whatsoever. I'm not going to say any names. Uh, it's not his fault. It's not even his dog's fault. His dog is a hunting dog. You know what I mean? It's a hunting dog, and it's trained to do hunting things and what is that that means go get a crippled bird that's walking around if he sees a duck like a mallard or a chicken probably thinks it's a snow goose yeah or it just doesn't matter it's a bird walking and he is trained to go retrieve it and kill it you know uh the killing part was a was was pretty pretty rough um you know like fred he he retrieves he has a pretty soft mouth uh, he, he don't really kill birds, you know, when, when he retrieves them. So that part of it, yeah, the, the dog, the dog went on a little bit of a rampage, to be honest with you. Uh, I don't know why it actually killed all of them, but that was, uh, 
that was the real surprising part to me was you know a lot of the dogs that come like even joe uh gerald's dog drew's dog heck even fred when we first got the ducks he would chase him he'd be like oh, oh and he'd think that it was a wounded bird on the ground that he was supposed to go get <laughs> look he's like dad don't be mad at me i'm not mad at you fred come here i'm not mad at you you didn't do nothing wrong no you didn't but uh yeah long story short uh the the client <clears throat> let his dog out to pee and i had already seen the dog kind of chasing him around I'm like well he's been told not to do it so hopefully the owner will kind of keep an eye on him while well, he let him out to pee and it was five minutes too long the dog came back back here and just went on destructo mode absolutely destroyed my birds um obviously didn't touch the pigeons which their water needs to be replaced they need to be fed so we're going to do that uh, i want to show you the pigeons real quick but yeah the pigeons are doing good the dogs don't ever interrupt them they're up here in their own spot just chilling look at them they love life in here i couldn't make them leave literally a lot of you are like why do you keep them in that pen what's the purpose of it okay not a lot of you I shouldn't have said that. Some people are like, why do you keep them in the pen? Da, da, da. Those, all them birds were born in there, man. That's all they know. If you let them out, they're gonna get killed by a hawk, literally at the snap of a finger. So they're pets and they enjoy their life. They like to be pampered. They like to be in that cage where they're safe, where food and water come to them. Yep, this is how it usually is. Dogs, ducks and chickens just hanging out. <laughs> that's what we like to see here at the bobby guy ranch at sand hill flyways let's call it that that's i guess that's what it's actually called but that's what we like to see right um we're gonna build a big fence we're gonna build the fence uh out back here i know that ducks and chickens can fly probably over that fence but hopefully they won't hopefully but we better feed these pigeons they are hungry which reminds me, I need to go get new grain scratch at the store while we're out. But check it out. Check out the old throwback ducks hoodie, the old school one. This hoodie was one of our first ones that ever came out. Like, uh, I bet you it was four years ago. Four and a half years ago, probably. I want to bring it back, just like a limited time. Drop a comment down below if you guys would pick it up if I brought it back for a very, very limited time. <laughs> Okay, okay. Look, they, they want some corn. They love this whole corn. Here you go. There you go. Yep. There you go. Oh, but let's get back here. Go feed these pigeons. And then us and the wife, we're all going to head to uh, the home of Depot and uh buy everything we need this is my plan i want to build a fence that basically will go probably uh, i don't know if we'll go from the edge of the pigeon coop or if we'll go from the edge of right here so i can still get to that door probably right here and we'll run it out quite a ways probably up this hill the ducks and chickens really like to be in here I'd like to fence some of that off for them so they can get up in the shade when it's really hot because my only fear is that if I if I fence them in in here there's no shade at all and it gets pretty toasty back here during the summer but we're gonna try it. If you guys got a better idea I'm sure that after this video I'm gonna be doing some more building and adding to the entire farmstead back here. There you go. Here you go. There you go, pigeons. Oh, they're hungry birds. Look at them. I feed them about every two days, but uh, I can tell they've been trying to lay eggs a lot more. The warm weather's coming. And we don't have any in there right now. They're wanting to eat up a lot more right now. We just came out of that long, long cold spell, so. But anyways, let's head to the store. I'm pretty sure I told you the entire story of the dog. It is sad. Whole Mally 
Mally the Mallard, he lost his best friend, the white duck. They were best friends. His name was Poopy Head because he had a, a fro on top of his head and uh, lost his best friend. So I got to get all this built and get him his buddy back. Because look at him. All he gets to do now is hang out with the chickens. That's literally all he gets to do. And let me tell you, him and Poopy Head, they were best buddies. They were inseparable. He'd follow Poopy Head, Poopy Head would follow him everywhere. It's sad to see it, you know. Uh, before we get going here, this is why, that's why, that's one of the reasons why I don't allow clients' dogs here. A lot of you that came and a lot of people that have been interested in coming here uh, to stay at Sand Hill at my guide lodge, <clears throat> have asked if you could bring a dog and I'm just like no there's so many reasons why uh, we have our own dogs and why I don't want other people's dogs here maybe your dog might be violent not yours but maybe someone brings a dog that's violent and bites a child or maybe we run over a dog on accident or maybe the dog interrupts the hunt and ends up flaring birds because he breaks way before the shots called those are just reasons why I don't like having other people's dogs here. Nothing against the guy's dog that came and accidentally did this, but that's just my two cents. <laughs> well, I went to go spray the old truck off. Look at her. Yeah, y'all seen her in the last video? Bad deal, looking better now. But mama already beat me to the punch. Literally bought everything we needed. You're on it today, mom. Yep, we're good even, to go. Look at that, even got us a new rain gauge. But, she got us all the fencing we need, the scratch get grains that we need, some new bedding. Check out the new pool for the ducks and chickens. They are gonna love that. Uh, we gotta go around back and pick up our tea posts, but we're gonna get home and get to work. I think mama's got a good idea and I'm just gonna tag along with her. <laughs> Look at her. <laughs> She's in work mode. Oh, farm girl. You old farm I am. girl? I literally you? am. You're looking pretty sporty in the old outfit today to be gotta a farm. Get ready to work out, but then we also got to do farm Are you going to go home and change before you start your farm work? I don't think so. Oh, really? Okay. Just going to get just going to get down. Yeah. Put my Carhartt gloves on and call it good. Okay. Let's go. Whew. Well, I've been working my bunions right on off. I'm going to show you what all we got going on here. So, I'm going with Mama's recommendation to put it over here next to the house instead of out back so we're moving the entire chicken and duck coop up here because it's going to make it easier for her to maintain them keep them safe keep them watered keep them fed and we have um, water spigots right on this side of the house so we'll just run a hose right over here now this is the new area i'm trying to get a hold of beth see if she'll bring home some Taco Bell. Well, no answer. No Taco Bell for me. I might as well shoot her a text here. I am starving. I can't see straight. Dude, I'm just sleeping on the job all the time, Freddy. But here's a new area. Uh, I got all my T-posts set. So this is a perimeter. Uh, the ducks, like I said back there, I wish we could provide some shade. Uh, we did. And I ran T-posts, cleared out a path. So I'm going to fence in this little brush area plus the evergreens and it's going to give them a lot of bedding area during the daytime they love to sit in these anyways and uh, they feel protected in them and with a fence we're going to move their the chicken actual coop over here but this gives them a lot of shade right here i think it'll be great and it's going to keep them from getting killed uh, every night they can be locked in the uh, coop so no coyotes can jump the fence and get them they'll be safe and the fence will allow no stray dogs to uh, out of nowhere come and just clobber them. So I'm excited. I'm excited. This way we'll be able to get some more ducks. I want you guys to go drop a comment down below. Please let me know what birds I should get. You all know I'm a bird guy. I shoot birds. I hunt birds. I love birds. I like all my birds, my pigeons. What birds should we get for the little farm here? We need to add to it uh hopefully none of them get killed again so i wouldn't mind spending a little bit of cash on some really cool ducks or something or geese drop a comment down below and beth i guarantee you she'll make it happen she loves loves 
loves farm animals. This is her dream is to have her own little farm next to the house. And we've had it for the last year out back, but we keep losing them. So that's what we got to do to protect them. So they'll stop dying. I will, uh, once I get the fence up here, I'll show you what's up. Oh, Frederick, we've been working our butts off. Not working them off. It's actually been pretty leisurely. We're about done. Mama's got the hose. She's going to fill up the new duck pool, duck pond. It's not much of a pond, but it's better than what they used to have. And this is all we got left. I got to go buy more fence from there to there. But here we go. She's ready to go. We got the coop back here. Mama's going to fill her up with new bedding. Here is their pool now. I'm going to dig like a half a beam so the chickens can access it and then we can easily dump it. I was gonna say, even if you know we, I, mean? I need to use, like make some stairs or like a step, that way we can just, you don't want to dig it down because then we can't empty it. Yeah. Gonna have to empty it and keep it clean. Sort of... Y'all have wanted me to do a duck pond. The problem is when you get a bunch of ducks, they do nothing but poop in it and poop in it and poop in it. So you gotta keep it clean. You and yes, can't keep it clean. you can't keep There's it clean. There's no keeping it clean. Um, but this is the only way to really just keep clean water back here for them. Uh, I, w I got a whole pond liner and everything, but I got to thinking if it doesn't have shade and they keep pooping in it, it's going to be really bad. So this is the way to do it. They'll love it. They will love it. We're going to get to filling her up. I'm going to go grab some more fence, but check it out. They're going to love getting back in these trees. It's all fenced off. They absolutely love nesting in these trees, so no more dead ducks and chickens or poop on my sidewalk or poop on the sidewalk yep time to make them changes oh get it farm girl get it it's a little windy working today. against the wind it's a little windy today it's kind of struggling mom yep <laughs> <laughs> working against the wind old farm girl old farm girl she is probably going to smack me when I put down this camera. Oh! All right. We got to go round up these pesky mallards. Time to take them to the new home. Mama got done putting the bedding in the in the coop. Come on, Frederick. Let's go find them ducks and them chickens. Where are they at? They're always roaming around somewhere. This is probably at the house, probably on the porch like usual. Or they're in the garage. Look, the, both yeah. doors are open on the garage. Yeah, yep. Guaranteed they're in the garage. This is part of the issue. We never know where they're at. It's funny having them roam around. It really is, but where are you at, Mallards? That's the one time we need them, they're not at the house. Where are they at? Oh, they're bedded down in the brush. Just like they like to be. Bedded down in there the brush. Are. Well, that's going to hurt gonna come out bloody. <laughs> There's some thorny stuff in there. Mallie the Mallard. Yeah, Bob in the wild. <laughs> You're like Bear Grylls. <laughs> oh, he's... <laughs> There's you, I'm back in the brush. Oh, he's fast. We're just gonna have to let him get out later and come up to the house. Look at him. He's all wet, dirty. I had to hoax him. I had to trick him. Turned on the water hose. Let it make a river, a little stream going. He can't resist it. He comes to it every single time. I <laughs> caught you, bud. Time to go to your new home. Well, we got him, Mama. Mama got him. I got him. Now Mama got him. Yep, you did. Good job. Oh, that was some work. I'm sweating. Yep, let him try his new pool. 
Oh, oh look at that swimming duck. Oh, he's like, oh, oh, oh. oh he's out. He's like, oh, look at this new area. Yeah. Guarantee you, he's going to love that. Um, yeah, he can kind of dive and stuff. Yeah, he really can, hasn't. They can actually the like winter, swim and dive. With the winter and it being frozen, they haven't really had much option for pool. Yep, look, here he comes back. Look, it's like, ooh. Yeah, there's the Mally. Oh, Mally the Mallard. I bet if we get out of here and leave him alone, he'll just kind of get at home by himself. Yeah. Let's let's skate out this way so we don't go charging out the open side where we haven't fenced yet. But look at him, he's gonna get back in there. Yeah. He's I'll loving it. This will be nice for you. It's right by the house like you want. I know. You can turn on the water. Yeah. Need to put you, we can move one of them food tubs from the shop yeah. over here. Yep. So I can have all my feed up here. Yep. Kids and I can come out here much more easily, check on them. And well, you know what? In. Those food tubs, you can actually probably keep out here right behind the deal because they're waterproof and they're sealed. He needs a little step done. Yeah, he does. Go get him that a brick or a piece of wood put on each side, but... There we go. That's all she wrote. Um, we're going to go. I, I got to get busy. I got to put down this camera. Okay. I am actually leaving in, um, in a couple days. And I am going uh, to Cabo, Mexico, to do some deep sea fishing. Uh, I'll already have went and gone back by the time you guys are watching this. So, the next couple videos on the way, Mexico deep sea salt water fishing i have never done it in my life and i couldn't be more excited got a good crew going uh it's actually for a bachelor party you, you guys remember nick uh my buddy that came up from texas and hunted with us a bunch this uh guide season it's his bachelor party bachelorette party <laughs> no but seriously it's gonna be a, uh, a really good time uh really excited to celebrate him and his marriage and his life and as well as Man, this fishing and cooking is gonna be phenomenal. Must be tough, right? Yeah. Everybody's jealous, She's mad. including me. She's mad that she don't get to go. Yeah. But when we come back, I already said we can go do a family trip. Because he feels bad. Because <laughs> <laughs> he feels bad. But subscribe if you haven't. Again, uh, drop drop a comment down below. What birds should I get? I want to get some more ducks. Uh, maybe a couple geese. Let me know what kinds that we need to get. Now we got some area. Now we can keep them contained. Let me know down in the comments. What do you want? Um, Mallard definitely needs a girlfriend again. Yeah. Because he's pretty lost without the white duck. Yeah. It's really sad. Yep. I think we just need to go to Jordan and get some full grown ducks again. Just some full grown ones? Yeah. Do they mesh well when you intermingle so. them like that? Yeah, just take a little time. Yeah. It is chick days, which means it's almost duck days. Ooh. at tractor supply so. discount central but we'll see you next time yeah yeah i know the video was supposed to be over but i want to give you guys a little bit of updating uh it's the next morning and last night when the kids got home and they seen the new duck and chicken coop they couldn't leave it alone bodie my son could not look at the his chair is still there he would not get away from the little pond and look at old Mally the Mallard. He's loving it. Yep, last night that's where Bodie sat right there. And that's what Mallard has done since he got in here. I'm telling you what. They're loving it. So glad we did it. Mallard is in heaven. Uh, please guys, please, please. I'm going to shut up. We're going to end the video. But please give me recommendations for what birds we should put in there. I want some special ones. Now they're going to be safe. They're gonna be safe. And if something happens now, I'm gonna go on a rampage with my shotgun, with my rifle, and kill a coyote. But I don't think there's any around. I don't think that was a problem. It's been neighbor's dogs and client's dogs. But, see you guys.